Yo, my people, them CFC with this blue back with another video. And thank you to everyone who's been um, watching my videos. In the last um, one week, I've gained about 21 subscribers. And I thank every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. It means a lot to me. I'm going to be coming with a lot more Chelsea content. And the you know, support is immense. It never goes unnoticed. And at these times, it goes to show um, the people who really care about me. So um, I appreciate you guys. And let's get into the video. So, as you know, it's match day, match day. So you know what that means? The match preview. And this is for the Chelsea versus Fulham match in the Premier League. Sorry about that noise. And I'm um, going to go over what um, Grandpa had to say in his press conference regarding the team news. As well as um, talking about Fulham's um, injuries as well. And then I'm going to go through my preferred lineup, some stats, and then my score prediction for this game. So, in the press conference, Graham Potter had stated that Chelsea's injuries, we have, um, obviously, Drow Felix, he suspended, will be missing um, one more game. He has one more game left of suspension, so after this full match, he will be playing in the game after that. Zacharias injured. N'Golo Kante is injured, Christian Pulisic is injured, um, Amanda Brogia is injured, and Wesley Fofana, he's still injured, but he will be coming back sooner than um, most of these guys. But the good news is, we have players like Reese James, Ben Chilwell, Ruben Loftus-Cheek, and Raheem Sterling, all going to be in the squad to, in, all in the squad today. So, this is excellent news, especially to hear that, Re I mean, that Raheem Sterling is back. Because he, he meant to be back, what, in like about two weeks. So he's before schedule. This is what you like to see. You've got guys that are willing to just speed up the process because they want to play for this club. They love the club. And I can't say he still loves the club, but he really he likes being here and he wants to be a winner. And he knows that with the more games he plays, we can, the Chelsea, we can be winners. So I am um, I'm very happy to know that he's back. And Ben Shaw and Reese James, I see Reese James going to be playing a lot, a lot more of the games, in terms of not not a lot more games, like having a lot more minutes in the match than Ben Shaw, because it was reported from like last week that James can start, and Shaw will hopefully be um, on the bench. That was what he said. And going off what Grandpa said in his press conference, he's definitely going to be on the bench or starting. So. It's just happy to know that at least we got our full backs back in the squad. It's been a long time since we've had both of them in the squad together. So we got to appreciate it. And hopefully we, they don't get injured again anytime soon or for the rest of the season. That's what we need because if we're going to be challenging to win um, the Champions League and to get into the top four, we need Reese James and Ben Shaw fully fit for the, for the rest of the season. So, yeah, man. And then the top story who we're going to talk about in terms of who's going to be playing tomorrow, Enzo Fernandez. Enzo, we're awaiting paperwork to sign so that we can get him registered. And the same thing was with, was with Joao Felix. He needed to um, get his paperwork registered and signed so that he could play um, when we last played Fulham. So for me, it will get done. Enzo will play tomorrow. If it doesn't, well, I'll be surprised. But it won't be the end of the world because we can still be Fulham even without Enzo. But um, but yeah, that's it for the team news. Now I'm gonna go over my preferred lineup for the match. I'm gonna go with um Kepper and goal, Reese James right back, centre backs, Badia Shaw, Thiago Silva, left back. I'm gonna go with um Lewis Hall, in midfield. I'm gonna go with Enzo Fernandez, Mason Mount, and and Karin Shakiri Mecca. That'll be my midfield. Then in the attack, I'm going to go with Madueki, Havertz, and Mikhailo Mudrik. That is my 11 for the match. And with that, we should definitely get the win because even in the last game, Fulham just about beat us 2-1. Just about beat us 2-1. And we had 10 men for at least half an hour of the game. If we have our full strength team, they are not beating us. I'm not saying we're definitely going to win, but they are not beating us. And that's how it will be tomorrow. Especially have Enzo, someone that no Premier League team has ever played against. He will offer a little. He will offer more um, 
of oh, what is he gonna do? These guys will know how to see him play because they wouldn't have time to see enough tapes to analyze how he will play. And if Enzo is Enzo is um, the big player that I that I believe he will be tomorrow. I mean today it will go to show that he will be a top Premier League player when we win, and he'll be instrumental in the win. And hopefully he can score on his debut. Hopefully. But yeah, that's my eleven for the um Fulham. Fulham, they have um just one, they have one injury and one player that's not playing to my knowledge, and that is um, Kebano. He is either injured or suspended. But they're gonna have Mitrovic back, and we all know. See Mitrovic, he didn't play in the last game. It's gonna be a tough test tomorrow in the defense because he's very physical. Badia Shaw and Thiago Silva ain't gonna be an easy game, but. I believe we'll get a clean sheet, our third clean sheet with these two in, in a row. So for me, I am looking forward to it. We obviously got William coming back to his old team. He scored against us in the last match, which was literally about three, literally about three games ago. And yeah, tomorrow, I mean today, he can't be having that, not at Stamford Bridge. We need to make sure we get this W because wins are what matters. We can't have draws, we can't have losses. If we want to get top four, we need to get W's. We need like a seven game win streak in my opinion if we're gonna be trying to get to the top four. So let's make sure that we can get this W so we can kickstart a winning streak. And for the um for the stats of the match, for the stats, so Chelsea have lost just two of their thirty seven home games against Fulham and are unbeaten in their last seventeen against them at Stamford Bridge. Winning 11, drawing 6. Fulham won 2-1 at home to Chelsea in the reverse fixture last month. They are looking to, to complete their first ever league double over the Blues with this, the 38th different campaign in which they have met. So the 38 different campaigns, they've never been able to have um, double wins over us and they better not start this season. We need to get a W against them, cannot afford to lose. And having won their first three Premier League games under Graham Potter, Chelsea have now won just two of their subsequent 11, drawing four, losing five. They also scored as many goals in their first three games as they have in the last 11, seven. So we need to um, step up this um, goal scoring form. And with Reese James, if he's starting, we will be scoring goals, at least one. So let's just wait and see what happens. I'm sorry about the noise that's outside, by the way. But um, no side has won more Premier League games than Fulham since the restart of the competition following the World Cup 4. And with only Newcastle 0 and Brentford 3 conceding fewer goals than the Cottagers 4. And let's be real, they've only conceded 4 goals but one of them was from us as well. So um, Chelsea are the only side yet to concede a first half goal at home in the Premier League this season. They've not conceded in any of their last 10 first half at Stamford Bridge. Last having a longer run, last having a longer such run between December 2007 and August 2008, 11. See, these are some mad, mad stats. So for me, a clean sheet is definitely going to be available because like you heard the stat, we have not conceded a goal in the Premier League at home in the first half. These are some good signs that we won't concede first and as long as we score first or get or get two goals, that will be um that will be good enough. So for me, going off all of this stuff, my score prediction for the game, I'm gonna go for a 2-0 Chelsea win. I believe it's very viable. Ezra Flanders will add a different dimension to the team. Reese James, you already know his impact on the team whenever he plays. We play much better. Mount will get a boost. Mudrick, he'll be getting a boost and hopefully Reese James and him can combine to get an assist. And on top of that, Reese James and Malweki on the right hand side. Psh, gonna be insane pace for days. It's gonna take on players, gonna be very tricky for that um from the Fulham players, for the Fulham players to um try and um to try and stop us. So let's hope that we can get this win. I'm going for a 2 0 win. You guys let me know your thoughts. Let me guys let me know your um score predictions in the comment section below. And other than that, that's going to be it for me regarding this um, match preview for the Chelsea vs Fulham match in the Premier League. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, 
TikTok, Snapchat, and Facebook for more Chelsea content. I'm CFC with this blue, and I'm out. Peace. Come on, Chelsea. Come on, Chelsea. Make sure to join my watch along, which starts at 6.30 p.m. Can go over the team news and the build up towards the match. But other than that, any other news, I'll let you guys know throughout the day. But have a good um have a good Friday. More life, more blessings, and as always, up the chose. Come on, Chelsea. I'm CFC with this blue, and I'm out. Peace.